Hello, this is Loopline. In this video, I'm going to go over the mobile tester add-on that Scrapebox uses. So back in April of 2015, Google announced that there was going to be a mobile update, and they gave different things and talked about how you can make your site mobile friendly and that sort of thing, and different people predicted that was going to be a big deal. And at the end of the day, a lot of people didn't think it was such a big deal uh, but it does have some significant ranking impacts for some people especially if you have a mobile client base so the mobile tester add-on makes that easy to address and also gives you some handy tools that you can't even get by going to the online tool because Google made an online tool that you can go and test your website or I believe you can do it in webmaster tools but the scrape box add-on if you go up here to add-ons and if it's not in there you can do a show available add-ons and then go down and just install it and that sort of thing but I've got it in there so I'm gonna to go to the mobile tester add-on here mobile site tester add-on and I happen to have a URL loaded in here that is not mobile friendly so we can see what it looks like and we'll just load that from the scrape box harvester and hit start and it's gonna go out and analyze that URL and then you can see these different columns here such as pass score no viewport small text bad plugins wide content and links to close these are waiting scores so it did not pass the total overall score of the website is 66 out of 100 percent towards passing being mobile friendly and mobile friendly is the goal obviously you want your site to be mobile friendly anyways because if it doesn't matter how your a website is making money um, or what its purpose is if a user can't view it and can't use it then that purpose isn't able to be achieved so it's important to obviously make that uh, mobile friendly but also for the sake of ranking it in Google it's important as well because they will rank a mobile friendly site better than a non mobile friendly site all other things being equal so these are weighting metrics so no viewport is 10 points and the small text is 34.3 and the links too close together is 7.9 so you may not necessarily have to fix everything on a website to get it to pass and become mobile friendly because there is some margin there what I would do if it were me is I would go address the biggest issue so I would address the small text because that's the biggest problem because it's a 34 point weighting metric of the problem then I would jump down to no viewport and then I would go down to links too close together if I still needed to work on it so the mobile to site tester add-on is great because it not only allows you to mass test but it also gives you these weighting metrics so that you can address the largest issues first and you don't even get these weighting metrics if you use the online tool from Google itself. They just tell you, they just give you the text and tell you what the problem is, but you might have 34 over here and seven. If you spend all your time over here and don't fix this one, you're not gonna get anywhere. So when you're done, obviously you have the export options. You can export the failed and the past as Excel. You can export past and then export failed as well here. Settings in the add-on are pretty basic. Connections and then request timeout and socket timeout. If you're not sure, stay closer to the green. If you're having issues, go closer to the green. Otherwise, you know, you can test and see what works and go with the default. Obviously, if you're going to be doing a lot of these, this is a Google metric or a Google site that it's pulling this information from. So you're going to want to use proxies. And that is how you can use the Scrapebox mobile site tester add-on that is in Scrapebox version 2.0 to check in mass if URLs have the mobile friendly tag. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button on your screen or click the subscribe button down below.